Belfield was just emerging out of the ground when we were there. My primary memory of it it was almost like the steppes of Russia, you know, it was open, windy, wet. That was a comment that was used quite often and it wasn't really until the O'Reilly Hall was built and created that sort of space in the centre that there was a definite heart of the campus. I thought that this desolate, rather lonely um, and rather exciting area as well was where I was going to find my education. There was a lot of controversy about moving out to Belfield. They said we were moving out into the middle of nowhere. And the move to Belfield was fantastic. Suddenly we really felt that we were real physics students because we had real equipment that wasn't Dickensian. I just remember vividly uh, walking into this vast space with light wells and the low ceilings and you know stairwells appearing and disappearing. I suppose the, uh, the physical experience of that were really, really intense. My really early experience of Belfield was always from outside because you could always see the water tower. In the water tower you see Vehart let rip with what he's really interested in. Well he's an amazing person really. He, he's a, a Polish architect and he decided to do this competition and he did this on the kitchen table and he'd never been to Ireland and he entered and he won. Uh, my family, we were great sailors uh, and I had a little dinghy and uh, do you, yeah. you remember we yeah. put the dinghy into the lake and I taught them how to sail on that lake. The beauty of the new buildings more than compensated for any hardship that we had. I mean, it was another world altogether. Mm -hmm.